today we have the all new 2020 Cadillac XT6. If you're looking for luxury with three rows, that's exactly what you get with this XT6. Now we're gonna take a full look at the exterior details, take a look at everything on the inside, all the features, and of course, we're gonna go for a test drive. Let's get started. Now starting on the exterior, you've got the Sport, which is gonna give you a glossy black grille and some different sportier looking accents, and then the premium luxury that we have right here, which is more classy and luxurious looking. Right up front, you're gonna see our large grille with their, what they call Galvano Surround, LED headlights and LED daytime running lights, including their signature, signature vertical light design. Standard on every trim is gonna be the front cornering lamps, and I'll show you that in a second, but we have the premium headlamps, which are optional. And the premium headlamps and the regular headlamps get the same exact rating from IIHS. Um, and I do have a night video showing off these premium headlamps. They do a nice job. I think the biggest knock on them is that they do create some glare. And there's no actual adaptive function, but the front cornering lights are great. This paint color is called the Manhattan Metallic. And it looks really good on this XTX. It's a definitely a dark color. Pairs well with the character lines on here. And it shows off this body style pretty well without making it look bloated. We even have the optional 20 inch wheels. There are several different options of large wheels up to 21 inches. And our mirrors are gonna be heated body color with turn signals. They have reverse tilting function on either mirror. And the driver's side is automatic dimming, but these mirrors are not automatic folding. You can power fold them on the inside, but they don't automatically fold. The door handles even light up at night, which is pretty neat. And dimensionally, the XT6 is 198 and a half inches long. So it is a decent sized vehicle. It's fairly large but it's not too big and too round to where it looks like a minivan either. It does, Cadillac did a nice job of shaping the X-T6. We even have the optional performance real-time damping suspension, which comes with our platinum package. And we'll talk about how that handles in the test drive. We have an attractive rear end with vertical tail lights, definitely signature Cadillac tail lights. They are full LED. And then we have dual exhaust tips down below, kind of faux exhaust tips below the bumper here. Now, if the latest safety and driver assist features are what you want, Cadillac offers them. You get a lot of standard safety features like automatic braking, your lane keeping system, things like that. But if you want adaptive cruise control where it actually slows down or speeds up your cruise, maintains a distance between the car in front of you, you actually have to pay extra for that. That sort of thing is standard on a lot of mainstream vehicles, so that kind of caught me by surprise. But if you get the driver assist package, you not only get that adaptive cruise control, but you can also add the automatic braking when you're backing up as well. This XT6 also offers a park assist to where it will steer and brake for you into a perpendicular or parallel parking spot. And then I think the coolest thing about a safety feature on this XT6 is called night vision. So it uses infrared sensors up front, it projects a screen on your information display on the inside, and it will pick up any objects beyond the headlights, beyond what you can see at night, like deer, animals, humans, whatever, so that it'll alert you if there's something that you can't see. In fact, in my night video that I did with this, be sure to check that out in the description below, it picked up some cows when I came to a three row and there was a pasture. So I know this thing works and that's, that's a huge safety feature if you drive somewhere with a lot of wildlife. The Cadillac offers the hands-free liftgate option where you can swipe your foot underneath to open or close it. And there's even a little Cadillac emblem that shines down on the ground. Now behind the third row, it really isn't too bad for space. You even have a movable cargo floor right here that you can lift up for some extra storage. And there's a spare tire underneath of everything as well. There are several tie downs back here, which are a big plus. It's a practical area. The third row is completely power folding up and down. And that gives you a nice flat load floor as well, even with the cargo floor. The second row is power folding down, but it does not power fold back up. You have to manually do that and it's a 60-40 split with the bench seat, and you get a really flat cargo floor and up to 78.7 .7 cubic feet, which is pretty good, although not quite as good considering the, the actual size, but still a very practical and usable area. If you have mobility issues, rest assured that it's still easy to get into this Cadillac XT6 because it is not as high as it looks. Plus, you can have the entry exit system to where when you exit the vehicle, the, the seat, and all that can move because you have memory settings, two position memory settings for your steering wheel, your mirrors, and your seat. Another thing we have in here is automatic seat belt tightening. So when you get in, put your seat belt on and you start it up, it's gonna kind of snug you back a little bit. 
That's part of the driver assist package. Now in our model, we have the $4,900 platinum package, which is gonna give you the semi-aniline leather in every single row, all three rows, a leather wrapped instrument panel, center console, door trim, and even a micro suede headliner that is black, special door sill plates, and that gives us our real time damping system. Now to be honest, these front seats are one of the disappointing things to me and where I was expecting more. They're not that plush, they're not that comfortable. Even after 20 minutes of being in here, I start to fidget a little bit because these seats just seem kind of firm. The bolstering is just kind of bland. You know, they're, they're certainly not luxury seats, at least in my opinion. Plus, you just have your basic adjustments, power adjustments. You don't have thigh extension. You don't have any bolster adjusting. You don't have multiple adjustments for your headrest, just up and down. And lumbar support is only two way. And this is a $70,000 vehicle. Heated seats are standard, but we have the comfort and air package, which adds the ventilated seats. So aside from my complaints of the comfort in the seats, you'll have to test them out yourself, but it is a spacious area. The center console does kind of widen out a little bit, but headroom is good. Uh, shoulder room is not too bad. And the armrest on the door and right here are both in good spots. You get a power adjustable wheel that will tilt and telescope. It's got a decent range of motion, but I wish it could move a little bit more. But the nice thing is it is fully leather wrapped and it's heated. The rest of the interior is pretty nicely done with quite a bit of soft materials and unique accents like braided carbon fiber or real wood accents, depending on which XT6 you get. To be honest, I was also expecting a little bit more with this interior, but it is still an easy to live with type of interior and doesn't take much learning to get used to all the stuff in here. The driver information screen in front of you is not as large as many competitors, but you still get real physical gauges on the side, so you won't find a full digital layout like you will in some other vehicles. Leave your thoughts down below, but you can see a lot of necessary information on that screen. You'll also get a head-up display as part of a $2,300 package, which shows you a good, about, good amount of information, and you can even kind of customize that or move it or turn it off if you want. Now, the surprising thing to me was when we get to our main screen, it's an 8-inch screen, which is standard. It's all touch screen on there, but you do have a controller that I'll show you in a second. You get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Wi-Fi, Sirius XM, and an eight speaker Bose system standard. But we have an optional 14 speaker Bose system, which is really loud in this vehicle. It definitely, definitely booms. And we even have the optional surround vision camera, which gives you so many different views. It's unbelievable. It's really nice, it's clear. It's easy to use and it'll automatically come up when you're going at low speeds. I just wish there was an option to just quickly turn it on like a quick button to do so. Now I really don't mean to just complain about the interior. The interior is nice. You've got nice features, nice touches. Everything is clear, but I was expecting a little more extravagant center display, uh, maybe a larger, more extravagant um, main screen right there, but it's still easy to use. And my biggest complaint I guess with it is that it's upward tilted and when the sun was straight overhead there was a heck of a glare on there because it's a fingerprint magnet and if it's cleaned or you wipe it and there's any kind of streaks it is really glary on there we get tri-zone climate control and those buttons are actually they look touchscreen but you actually do push them it's where it houses all of your uh, fan speed your heated and ventilated seat controls you even get a little storage nook underneath of that and the shifter is unique, it looks nice. And then you've got your command center where you've got shortcuts and uh, it's easy to use for your, for your main screen. The bottle holders are quite small though. And then right here, we've got a nice long armrest. This is also soft, so you can have your elbow here and the steering wheel if you want, it's far enough. You lift it up, you've got a little wireless charging slot where your phone can go. You've got a couple charging ports in here, a regular USB and a type C, and it's illuminated and it's got a little movable tray and it's also softly lined. This does have an electronic parking brake where you push a button over here, but to my surprise, it doesn't have a brake hold button uh, to where it's just gonna hold the brake for you in certain situations. One thing on this interior that I really, really like though is the mirror camera. So it even comes with a washer. You've got this mirror up here, which can be just normal where you can see out of it like normal, or you can flip the switch and you can see a mirror or a camera behind you. So you have complete unobstructed visibility looking out the back of the vehicle in day or nighttime. And to top it off, we have the Ultra View sunroof, which is a large panoramic roof that goes all the way back to the second row. 
And for those of you that like to store stuff, there is a little hidden storage area underneath of this main center console, plus there's a charging port down there. The second row of the X-T6 is still a nice place to be. So sitting behind myself at five foot nine, I've still got a lot of space. Most of the adults you fit back here will probably be good with knee space and foot space. Headroom is also very generous across the entire vehicle. You got a center folding armrest right here. And one thing to know is that we have the bench seat, which technically gives us a seven passenger configuration, but you can get captain's chairs that are gonna give you a six passenger configuration. But this bench seat is still pretty nice and spacious. And then right in front of us, we get our climate control, which is very simple and easy to see. You've got a USB regular and a USB type C and a nice storage bin. And the back seat even has some ambient lighting on the doors. The front has kind of a nice glow at night with some white backlighting and some very subtle ambient lighting. Best part about these seats is that they can scoot forward and backwards and they can recline a pretty good distance. So you scoot back, you recline, and you can just gaze out this giant roof. Now in front of us, there aren't the AC vents, but we have AC vents right up above, which is where I actually like them. Now getting into the third row is not that easy for adults. There's not a very big opening and you have to actually lift and pull a lever and scoot the seat instead of just pushing a button like many competitors. So if you've got children that are gonna go back here, young children, it might be a little difficult for them to regularly move this seat uh, or adults going back here, even just fitting back here. But now that I'm back here, you've got generous headroom. Although my head is touching, you have best in segment third row headroom. And this third row is fairly spacious. It's just two seats back here instead of three. You've got a couple cup holders and you've got two USB type C charging ports. Now I've got this second row part way back and I can sit here behind it without my knees touching. So an adult can sit back here, which is fantastic. I just wish they had a better option of getting into the second row at this price point. Now, if you have captain's chairs, of course, you could probably come climb through the middle. Now, powering the X-T6, you just get one option. There's no twin turbos or V8s or anything fancy in here. You definitely gotta go to the Escalade if you want that power. But we get a naturally aspirated, direct injected 3.6 liter V6 that is gonna give you 310 horsepower, 271 pound-feet of torque. Those numbers are respectable, certainly not bad, and it moves this vehicle fairly well. In fact, paired with the nine-speed automatic, you can go zero to 60 in 6.9 seconds. This engine does have cylinder deactivation to help with our fuel efficiency, and it go from six to four cylinders, and you can even see that on the inside. And miles per gallon with this one right here is gonna be 17 city, 24 highway, and 20 combined, and this one is all-wheel drive. All right, everyone, we are off on the test drive in this Cadillac XT6. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the ride comfort, how it handles, what it's like to drive this on a daily basis and put it in a couple drive modes and get on it a couple times too. So my first impression upon getting in here is that it doesn't necessarily feel like that big of a vehicle. This is a fairly large size vehicle, but it's not that hard to maneuver around. The steering has a good weight to it. Uh, easy to live with on a daily basis type of steering. Now we're just about to get on a road that's on the bumpier side and even though we have large 20 inch wheels which can aid into a harsher ride this is not a harsh ride at all it's a pretty soft fairly floaty ride this probably in my opinion leans more towards the ride comfort than the handling performance which is you know perfect for a cadillac luxury type of experience when you're driving you do still feel and notice some of those bumps and i'm sure that part of that is from the wheels but we actually have the real-time damping suspension so it's continuously changing for the road surfaces whether you're cornering or whether you're going over bumps or anything like that this does have the auto stop start but unlike the traverse when it first came out you can actually turn that off there and i'm gonna go ahead and get on it i have it in all-wheel drive you have to actually put it in all-wheel drive um, instead of normal front wheel drive. And it's got a nice sound and it's fairly quick getting up to speed. And I'll talk a little bit more about this transmission in a little bit, but sometimes when I've just been slowing down, like I'm gonna come to a stop, it really kind of jolts and jerks occasionally, not every time, or if I'm slowing down and then I get on it, 
that time was good. It was fairly responsive that time, but it does have a tendency to almost jerk a little bit or be a little bit delayed. Now the brakes on this XT6 are not my favorite. Uh, the vehicle feels kind of heavy when braking. Um, it's a little soft, not my, not my favorite braking, but it's done a good job getting me stopped. Now I just put it in sport mode and it's got a pretty nice sound to it and it was absolutely There's some Texas wildflowers just had to say that but it was absolutely more responsive and, and downshifted to a lower gear and of course this vehicle is not meant for cruising around but Cadillac's commercials portray this as having some swagger so you kind of got to hustle it a little bit and it holds its own there's certainly some body lean uh, at certain times especially if you are braking um, and cornering at the same time but really for it's pretty much everybody that's going to buy this xt6 it's going to meet or beat your expectations now like i mentioned one thing i'm a little bummed about is that you have to pay a premium and get the driver assist package in order to get adaptive cruise control which uh, if you've never used it you always have to be paying attention of course it's not autonomous but it does take some stress out of some long drives or certain situations uh, but it, I wish that that was standard now this does have cylinder deactivation and it just went from V6 to four cylinder and it shows you on there and there are some times where you can feel it but I, I'll bet most of you won't. I just have kind of been looking for it. Like I'm gonna get on it. And it was seamless. It's, it went to six cylinders as soon as I hit the accelerator. So no problems with that. Now, ergonomics in here, I like the ergonomics. I think everything is in a good position. This armrest over here is comfortable. The upper part is comfortable. The steering wheel is comfortable to hold on to. Everything is in a good position, but I don't like how there are no physical buttons on here you have physical buttons down there and this is in a good spot and this has been intuitive and easy to use um, I've I've enjoyed using it um, I just wish that screen was not slanted up because it does get some glare with overhead Sun these cup holders are really small and they don't adjust at all I would always change that I have my bottle with me all the time but it's a minor complaint now we're gonna get on a louder textured road and the XT6 does have a serene cabin. And uh, we have acoustic windshield. You've got laminated side glass on the front. And road noise and wind noise is well contained. There is still some road noise. And to be honest, there has been a tiny bit of little vibrations in here. Little creaks occasionally, which, you know, isn't uncommon necessarily, but I would expect a little more of a solid structure feel going over some gravel or road like this. I think the biggest thing with this XT6 is that for those Cadillac customers that have come from the plush, luxurious, soft riding Cadillacs, I think you'll mostly be happy with this. I wish the seats were softer. I wish they were a little more plush but overall, you've still got nice touches in here. Can't complain about that. Things are easy to use, but there's really nothing extravagant with either of these screens. At the time of this video, I have not been able to check out the 2021 Escalade, but I know when this came out, people were saying that this was a better value than the Escalade, it's a baby Escalade, and in my opinion, it's not. It's, it's not as luxurious as I was really hoping for, for a $70,000 Cadillac SUV that just came out, but it's still a nice vehicle. It's got a lot of features. It's got creature comforts. And for those of you that are Cadillac and GM loyalists, I think you'll be plenty happy with this. Now to wrap things up with this 2020 XT6, I like a lot of what Cadillac has done. It is a nice vehicle. It's semi-luxurious, it's comfortable, and it is stylish. But to be fully honest, it's not as desirable as I was expecting when this thing first came out. I feel like Cadillac held back a little bit in terms of some of the features that they offer, especially on the inside, but it's still a stylish vehicle. It still offers a lot and it gives you a nice comfortable ride. Leave your comments down below. Be sure to check out some of these other videos and have a great rest of your day.